I think that they need help. And I think that it's really sad that the, the man who owns the property has allowed it to happen. A homeless encampment along Poff Lane is sparking concerns from neighbors who say they no longer feel safe. The growing site, it's known locally as the Poff Town Compound, is now the center of attention for both neighbors and county officials as they look for some sort of solution here. Fox 8's Elijah Skipper is live for us at the site along Poff Lane. So Elijah, what are people out there saying? Yeah, neighbors tell me that this situation at this site has been escalating over the past year, but county officials tell me they weren't made aware of how serious things were until late July. I'm going to step out of the way and have my photographer show you just how serious this situation is. You can see some makeshift shelters. Yeah, I see a fishing rod and a couple picked apart motorcycles and cars. You can see just how serious conditions are, and I'm told by the county that if they'd known about this earlier, they could have intervened before it became this serious. I don't think many people would choose to live in the conditions that have developed on that property. Makeshift structures, blue tarps, and garbage. As far as the eye can see, 4780 Poff Lane is simply in disrepair. It appears to my staff and me that there are multiple people living on the property, but we don't know how many. When passing that nearly four acre property, you can see just how large the encampment has become. Neighbors say it's unacceptable. Oh my goodness, what's going on, mom? Why do they have so much stuff? Why are they sitting in the road? Why is that guy asleep in his chair in the road? It's really sad, but it's also like a health hazard. Like there have got to be rodents. There's got to be disease. The Forsyth County Office of Environmental Assistance and Protection opened a case looking into the site. They say they've contacted the property owner who has signed an abatement agreement promising to remove the solid waste from the property before November 5th. There has been some progress made, but it's been moving more slowly than I think that occupant anticipated. I think it's taking longer, but we're not surprised because we saw how much material was on the property. But county officials say items like motorcycles, cars, and bikes aren't considered solid waste, and they have no authority over that. So even though the property owner has promised to clean up, it's no guarantee all of the clutter will be gone. As I go by before 8 in the morning, um, that's when they're typically hosing their fines off in the middle of the road. They've got a hose out there hosing off the things they've collected overnight. So maybe they're picking it up off the side of the road. Maybe they're finding it in the back of someone else's truck. I don't know where they're getting it. If the property owner shows a good faith effort towards cleaning up the site, the county could extend the November 5th deadline. However, if they do not meet that deadline, they could be subject to some fines and possibly misdemeanor criminal charges. In Forsyth County, Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News. Just have to wonder what people, like the people driving behind